Hello students, continuing to learn geography. Today we are passing on to a new topic, geographic grid, latitudes and longitudes. See, in this chapter, there are certain things which are being taken out by the council. So the syllabus, concepts of latitude, main latitudes, their location with degrees, parallels of latitudes and their uses, concepts of longitudes, prime meridian, time, local and standard time and time zones, Greenwich Mean Time and International Dateline, Eastern and Western Hemisphere. This is what we are going to learn in this chapter. To start with, this chapter is all about the globe. As you all know that globe is the replica or the model of the earth. Students, you would have seen the globe. It's shown blue in color. The dominant color is blue because 70% of the earth is water. Rest is shown in different colors. Apart from this, you would have seen that there are lines crisscrossing. And you know that the globe is used for specific purpose. It, of course, you know that the globe doesn't give the total information. It is just to educate people about the shape and the spatial distribution of all natural and man-made features. And the lines that crisscross, known as the grid, are that we are going to learn in this chapter. All the vertical lines are known as the longitudes and horizontal lines are known as latitudes. The coordination of the vertical and the horizontal lines that is the longitudes and the latitudes known as the grid or they form grid basically these lines help in locating places and at the same time calculation of time so it becomes very very easy for us to locate any place why because each place has it latitudinal and longitudinal reference so the crisscrossing lines is known as geographic grid. So what is geographic grid? The framework of crisscrossing lines on the globe is known as geographic grid. So you can just keep this in mind. There can be a one mark question in the board exam. Latitudes. The lines running east to west parallel to the equator are latitudes or lines of latitudes. Longitudes are lines running north to south passing through the poles are called the lines of longitudes students you can see that these are the horizontal lines known as the latitudes they are also called as the horizontals or parallel lines the vertical lines radiating from the poles or intersecting at poles known as longitudes or verticals they are also known as meridians students you should know that a geographer known as the Eratosthenes devised the lines of latitudes and longitude to locate place so the network of latitudes and longitude is known as grids students you should know that lines of latitudes are imaginary lines joining all places of same latitude north and south of the equator these are the horizontal lines they run parallel to each other north and south of the equator so zero degree is marked as equator on the globe and latitudes are marked in degrees like zero degrees 40 degrees 60 degrees and so on up to the pole which is marked as 90 degrees Latitude of a place is marked with a reference to the center of the earth. You can, look, you can look here. This is the center of the earth. 30 degree north is marked with a reference to the center. From the equator, 30 degrees north is this latitude. So, latitude of a place is marked with a reference to the center of the earth. So as all latitudes are parallel to the equator, they are called parallels of latitude. So there can be a question, why are latitudes called parallels of latitude? So the straightforward answer is that 
they run parallel to the equator north and south. All latitudes are full circles but not great circles. Only the equator is the great circle. There can also be another question that why are all latitudes a full circle not a great circle. The reason behind this is the spherical shape of the earth. The circumferal area decreases from the equator towards the pole. So hence all latitudes are full circles but not great circle other than equator. Why? Because this has an exact circumferal area of the earth. The length of the latitude reduces to the poles from the equator due to spherical shape of the earth. So this is what you are supposed to keep in mind. So there are some important or main latitudes. For example, here you have Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle. Arctic Circle is 66 degrees north of the equator. Tropic of Cancer is 22 and a half, 23 and a half degrees north of the equator. 23 and a half degrees south which is Tropic of Capricorn and 66 and a half degrees south known as the Antarctic Circle. So these are the important latitudes. Now they can be also a question in exam asking you to write the importance of latitudes. So the lines of latitudes are the coordinates of grid system. They help in locating places north or south of the equator. Help in measuring distance. For example, 1 degree latitude is equal to 111 kilometers. So the difference between two latitude can be 111 plus 111 can be 222 kilometers. And very important latitude splits the earth in different heat zones or heat belts or climatic zones. Students, you should know that due to the spherical shape of the earth, the incoming solar radiation received by the earth is at a different rate. It's the equator that receives the vertical rays of the sun. And as you go towards the pole, the rays of the sun becomes vertical to slant and it is the equator that receives the vertical rays of the sun so hence equator is the hottest whereas the poles that receives slant or oblique rays of the sun is the coolest. So based on this there are different heat zones known as the thermal zones for example 66 and a half degrees north to 90 degrees north is known as the north frigid zone. Why? Because this zone receives a total oblique rays of the sun so rate of heating is very very less so the temperature is very very low followed by north temperate zone between 23 and a half degrees north to 66 and a half degrees north where the temperature is moderate here the sun rays are either not very vertical or not very slant so moderate so hence this is known as temperate zone and the zone between 0 to 23 and a half degrees north and south of the equator is known as the torrid zone. Why? Because this zone receives a total vertical rays. So hence the rate of heating is very very high. Hence it is called as the torrid zone. Continue. South temperate zone which is between 23 degrees south to 66 and a half degrees south is known as the south temperate zone. It is same as the north temperate zone and followed by south frigid zone 66 and a half degrees south to 90 degrees south it is same as the north frigid zone where the rays of the sun is totally oblique and the rate of heating is very very less hence polar regions are the cool regions of the world so hope the concept of latitude is very clear to you all let's pass on to the lines of longitude as i told you lines of Longitude are verticals or meridians. They run from North Pole to South Pole to form a great circle. Why? Because they have the equal circumferal area of the Earth. So what is longitude? A longitude is angular distance of a place east or west of prime meridian. Keep in mind students, 
prime meridian has an angular bearing of 0 degrees that divides the earth into two equal halves vertically known as the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. Prime meridian is the line of longitude with angular bearing 0 degrees that passes through Greenwich near London. The prime meridian 0 degrees, you can see that this divides the earth into two equal halves eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere whereas this is the north pole and the south pole. Meridians of longitude converge at poles hence equal in length. I told you earlier that all longitude meet at poles forming a great circle. Why? Because these have the equal length and circumferential area of the earth. There are 360 longitude at an interval of 1 degree. So, totally there are 360 0 to 180 degrees east and 0 degrees to 180 degrees west that makes 360 longitudes. So, here you can see that this is prime meridian towards the east there are 180 longitudes like 20, 40, 60, 80 the other side another set of longitudes the same way towards the west 0 to 180 degrees west longitudes two diametrically opposite lines make full circle known as the great circle just now students I told you that longitudes meet at poles forming a great circle so hence all the longitudes are known as the great circle. Why? Because they have the equal circumferential area of the earth. The distance between two longitudes at the equator is 111. And the distance between two longitudes as you move towards the pole crumbs. Why? Because these longitudes intersect or meet at the poles. So, 0 to 180 degrees east makes eastern hemisphere, 0 to 180 degrees west makes western hemisphere. So, longitudes are known as meridians. The earth has 24 hours for its one rotation and covers 360 longitudes during its motion. So, it takes one hour to cover 15 degree longitudes and four minutes for one longitude and as mentioned earlier longitude has a special significance that it helps in not only finding out or locating place but at the same time finding and calculating time and time differences students time is always ahead in the eastern hemisphere than the western hemisphere this is because the sun rises or the eastern hemisphere experiences the sunrise first. Why? Because the movement of the earth is from west to east. A simple example which is not there in the syllabus but it, it is a very general question that you all should know and be aware of it. EGA means east gain add WLS west lose subtract for example along the prime meridian it is 1 am so what could be the time along 40 degrees east and 50 degrees west students as you all know that 1 degrees make a distance of 111 kilometer and at the same time it takes around 4 minutes therefore 0 to 40 there are 40 longitudes so multiplied by 4 is 160 minutes that makes 2 hours 40 minutes so the time at prime meridian is 1 am so therefore the time along 40 degree east is 1 plus 2 hours 40 minutes which is 3 40 am and along the 50 degrees west the time is behind so 50 longitudes 15 to 4 is 200 minutes. So therefore, it makes 3 hours, 
20 minutes so west lose subtract that means if the time along the prime meridian is 1 am so we need to subtract 3 hours 20 minutes from 1 am so therefore the time along 50 degrees west is 10.40 am the same day. Deepa, Deepa, De, Ali, Mundar, Atat Badana, Mile, Sound Bartha, Ili, Gate Munda, Atat Badrin, Gate Munda, Atat Badana, Sound Martha, the Ruguru, Ili, Gate Munda, Atat Badano, Atat Badano, once you got Jora Kisar. Ah, thanks, ma. International dateline. 180 degrees diametrically opposite to prime meridian or Greenwich with 12 hours difference. That is 180 into 4 makes 12 hours. So this is international date line. I mean to say that the 0 degree longitude continues as the international date line on the other side of the world and completes as one great circle. And it's a fact that a day is gained or lost on crossing international date line. So students, I advise you to please go through the textbook and refer the points given or taught to you today. Rest other topics are not included for you in class 9th is to be ignored.